Hey guys, this is PM Fry from Amazing Lights and I'm here to teach you about flails. I'm going to be teaching you guys wrist flails, elbow flails, and a combo that you guys can expand on. Flails are a continuous whip that allows for no pauses. They are done using small transitions in which there are no breaks and allows for the illusion of a continuous circle. There is a distinct difference between whips and flails. A whip is a circle done with outstretched fingers. A flail is a windmill-like motion that uses the wrist and the elbow to create the illusion of a continuous circle. There are two ways to do a flail, one from the wrist and one from the elbow. When doing flails from the wrist, you can do moves around or behind the flailing hand. To do the wrist variation, you can either start like this or like this. Either way, make sure that your fingers are together and that your thumb is in. Start making a circle, but do it only from your wrist. The faster you do your flails, the better they will look, as long as you maintain a perfect circle. When doing flails from the elbow, it creates a larger circle which allows you to move to the side or do moves in front of it. To do the elbow variation, you start the same way as you would for the wrist variation, but this time you focus on rotating from the elbow. Once you are comfortable with that, you can add in a wrist rotation to grab the full effect of the continuous circle. One of the many variations you can do with this move is to flail the backhand and weave your front hand in and out through the flail. This move will consist of two parts, an elbow flail and a closed hand whip that will weave in and out of your flail. Before you learn the full move, you must first learn how to throw your whips, which will become the basis for the full combo. To begin this move, you will start like this, with your right hand as your backhand and your left hand as your forward hand. You will whip down your backhand, whipping forward your front hand, which will then rotate around and back to the same position for you to start the process over again. Just like that. Once you are fully comfortable with this move, you can incorporate flailing by adding one or more flails to your backhand for each time that you throw your front hand forward. Keep practicing this move until you get it as fluid as possible. There are three things you can do to your flails. You can adjust the speed, the size, or the placement. Increasing the speed of your flail will create a more intense move, whereas slowing it down will create a calmer, suspenseful move that you can easily transition out of. As I talked about before, you can control the size of your flails by doing them from the wrist or the elbow. Doing so will create more variety within your shows. Experimenting with different positions can help you add variety to your shows and create transition points in which you can go to whips or tucks. As always, practice with both hands to add even more variation to your shows. Another way to practice your flails is to flail with one hand and do a completely unrelated move with the other. This will help you create more complex moves that incorporate the flail. Again, this is PM Fry. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now remember, none of these moves are meant to be copied, but expanded on by you. Now here's a light show.